Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my everything shower routine. If you guys don't know what that is, we're talking everything. Obviously washing your hair, washing your body, shaving, exfoliating, moisturizing, skincare, hair care, blow drying, everything, okay? I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my routine that I do in the shower as well as post shower. And I kind of wanted this to be like a relaxing spa kind of vibe. So I'm throwing in some spa music as well as some ocean waves to play while y'all are watching and listening to this video. So let's get in a relaxing, calming mood, zen, and let's enjoy this masterpiece that I put together. <laughs> Just kidding, it's not a masterpiece, but it's very calming. So just sit back, relax, and hopefully you learn something, a thing or two from this video, but enjoy. Hello everyone. First, I like to light a candle because it just helps me get in the mood to do a full on shower routine, self care routine. It really just adds to the ambiance of everything. And once the water is to my desired temperature, I don't like it too hot. It's like a good warm temperature, I get in. Recently, I have been using the Saltaire shampoo and conditioner. This is the Recover and Restore line. And honestly, I really like it. I really like the scent of it and I really like the way my hair feels but I do two shampoos, so this is the first shampoo that I do. I do have hair extensions, so washing my hair and scalp can be a little bit difficult, but I try to get in there as much as I can. And once that is rinsed out, I go in with my second round of shampoo, and this is the Orbe Gold Lust Repair and Restore Shampoo. And I do like shampooing twice just because I feel like it really cleanses my scalp. The first round just kind of gets in there, cleanses it, and then this one really gets in like after taking away dirt and the buildup. This is like actually cleaning my hair and everything. And then I go in with the Saltaire conditioner and I just put that on the ends of my hair. Next I'm using this scalp massager and I just use this to stimulate my scalp before I put on my hair mask. Today I'm using the Raw Sugar Healing Power Hair Mask and I absolutely love this. I've only used it a few times, but I love the results afterwards. And once that is throughout my hair, I'm going to clip it up in a claw clip so it can get out of my way while it sits for 5-10 to 10 minutes. While I'm waiting for the hair mask to set, this is when I'm going to exfoliate, shave, body wash, all of the things. So first I'm going to end with the Tree Hut Vitamin C Exfoliant Scrub, and I'm just going to put that all over my body. This really helps my skin prepare for shaving, and it also gets rid of, obviously, all the dry skin. It makes my skin feel so smooth. Next, I'm going in with the shave butter, and I'll be honest, I bought this just because of the packaging and how the butter was rainbow. I wasn't too sure how it was actually going to perform, but I actually really like it, and it's really cute too, so it's a win-win. And I just use that and then literally shave every part of my body. <laughs> And 
And by that time, my hair mask is done setting, so I'm just going to rinse that out as good as I can. And then we're gonna go in with my body wash, and this is just so I can have it rinsing throughout my hair as well as washing my body. It's just like a two-in-one sort of thing. But I'm using the Native Gummy Bears body wash. I know this might sound weird, like why do you wanna smell like gummy bears? But honestly, it kinda of smells really good. I'm a fan, so if you haven't smelled it yet, I highly suggest. It's, it's not like a weird smell. It, it smells good, okay? The first thing that I do as soon as I get out of the shower is moisturize my body and I'm going in with the Olay Vitamin C lotion and I'm just going to put that all over. Next, we're going to do skincare, and I'm going with the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser, and I'm just going to cleanse my face. And to moisturize and bring some hydration back to my skin, I'm going to use the Wishful Thirst Trap Juice. I really do love this oil. I'm going to need more of it. I think this is my last drop, unfortunately but I really love this stuff. Next, I'm going to brush my teeth and use mouthwash for obvious reasons. <laughs> Once my hair is somewhat towel dried, I'm going to go in with the It's a Tin Miracle Leave-In Spray and spray that all throughout my hair and then brush it out. I make sure to start brushing the ends of my hair first and then I'll work my way up. That way it's not as tangly and harsh on my hair. Next, I go in with the Moroccan oil leave-in treatment, and I love this stuff. It smells so good and makes my hair feel so nice and shiny. Then I'll go in with the Vegamore Hair Growth Serum, and I've just been using this on spots that I've noticed that my hair isn't too full. It's mainly on the sides, and I'm not exactly sure why, because I feel like that usually happens when you wear your hair up a lot of the times. And if y'all know me, I rarely wear my hair up, so I'm not exactly sure what is causing that, but I'm just really going to aim at the spots that I'm not noticing a lot of growth, and just kind of rub that into my scalp. I'm going to put on deodorant and y'all look I've graduated we're not using men's deodorant anymore <laughs> then I'll go in with the crystal collagen gold powder eye mask and I really love these I get these from Amazon and it's just so nice and brightening and I really do love these like these are my favorite things ever and they're not very expensive either And lastly, I'm going to go in with the Laneige Sleeping Lip Mask, and I will put that on my lips. I know it's like a sleeping mask, but I use this on a daily basis. It's one of my favorite lip balms. And I used to air dry my hair all the time because I thought it was healthier for my hair, but then I learned that your hair can be 
damaged a little bit more whenever it is wet so I decided to start blow drying it a lot more frequently but again I don't wash my hair on a daily basis so hair drying it doesn't really damage it whenever it comes to heat but I like to separate my hair into two sections especially when it comes to extensions and I also want to make sure that I dry the roots of the extensions because those can get very wet and take a long time to dry. And once my hair is dry, look how shiny it looks. I love it, it feels so nice and soft and I'm ready to get ready for the day. And that is it for my everything shower routine. I hope it put you into a zen, calming mood. I know it did me while editing it. I was like, man, I just kind of want to cozy up in bed and take a nap or watch a movie. But that is my routine. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.